construction on G mod is uh, is good fun, but it can be quite fiddly at times. Um, so if you're a new player or if you're a, an old player who just wants to maybe pick up a few things they haven't seen before, uh, here are a few things worth bearing in mind when you are building, and they should make it a bit less frustrating and a bit quicker. Alright, before you start doing anything else, if you want to build more precisely, the first thing to do is to go to the add-ons, go to the tools tab, go to the top rated tab, and you want to look for something called Smart Snap. It's in the top rated, uh, as of filming, it's in the second tab. Um, if you just use the arrows here to, to get about, but um, it might have moved when you're getting it. Install that. Once it's ready, restart or, or start your game. Right, so having installed the Smart Snap mod, uh, all props should now, when you mouse over them with the uh, tool gun equipped, come up with a grid on them to allow you to uh, easily align the uh, the tool on the prop. Um, all props have it. It's more useful on the uh, construction props. Um, all you have to do is point to the corner or close to the corner you want to snap to. And wherever that red X is, when you hold E, it automatically snaps your, uh, your tool gun to the corner. And you can use it to do some quick, precise welding like that. Nice and easy. Okay, so um, let's say you're doing your build and you want to line up your next piece to be welded in. Rather than just holding E and trying to get it just right, if you hold Shift as well, it'll automatically snap to sort of the cardinal points so you can easily manipulate it to the position you want it to be and ready for your next weld. Alright, so let's say you want to put a hydraulic on something between uh, two objects. You can left click on one and then left click on the other but if you want to make sure they line up perfectly, right clicking will automatically create a hydraulic perpendicular between the two items. This also works with sliders, right click, and the winch, right click. Right, so you've built your nice complicated thing, but as you're building it, it's been locked in place, and now you need to unlock it, but you can't remember which bits are locked and which aren't. Rather than having to go through and click every bit by hand, if you select one and hit your reload button, which by default is R, it'll unfreeze all attached objects to the one you're currently holding. So even if all of them are locked, you only have to um, unfreeze one of them, hit R, and the lot are free. Many of the tools in the game also have other functions, so material, left clicking will allow you to change material, right clicking will put it back to what it was before. It's the same with the colour tool. And lots of the other tools have different right click abilities as well, so the no collide tool for example, instead of having to individually no collide every prop with a prop you don't want to touch anything, right clicking will make it no collide with all of your spawned in props. This also works with the R, uh, the reload button, sometimes, uh, so for example the rope tool, pressing R removes all such um, connections between two objects. It also works for the weld tool and a few others as well. Um, it's one of the things you really have to look up yourself. There's plenty of different tools, so if you're not quite sure what to use, have a little look up um, at what the uh, alternate uses of the tool are. This last one isn't really a, a building or construction tip, it's just a general thing. If you change the camera and hold right click with it on, you can move the mouse backwards and forwards to zoom in and out on the map. You can also hold uh, right click and move the mouth le uh, mouse left and right to go crazy. Um, I don't know why you'd want to do that, but it's there. Uh, if you do end up with some kind of crazy sort of view and you want to put the camera back to normal, hit R and it will go back to normal. Okay, so if you bear those things in mind, you should find that your uh, constructions go quicker and they're a lot less uh, frustrating. Um, best of luck with all your builds. If you've got any comments you want to share, uh, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, the map I've been playing on has been uh, GM underscore Valley. Very good map, good fun to build on, plenty of stuff going on here. Oh. Um, yeah, goodbye.